everyone, it's Arlene here with a new segment called Did You Know and Do You Know? So just uh, some random thoughts here today with some tips for you and also some suggestions and questions for you of things that I'm asking you. Did you know that if you are running really, really low on your foundation and your foundation has a pump applicator and you're no longer to pump that and get the makeup out, you can tip it on its side and leave it for a while and then the little um, segment down here of the part of the pump, if you kind of squeak, go around like this, you can actually get some extra makeup. Now say you're in a hurry and you don't feel like doing that and it hasn't been sitting down for a while, you can give it a good little, you know, hit it right there against something soft, right? And then open it up and kind of try to scoop it out and you get, look how much more you get. Now, when you're running even really low and you really need that to make up to kind of settle down and let gravity, you know, take effect, but you don't want to wait for it, you can hit it really, really, really hard. And again, let's see, you can get even more, scoop out even more. Just make sure you don't hit it on a, on a hard surface. Did you know that if you clean your bathroom sink, you can find treasures such as these contacts that expired in 2012? Now, question for you, do you know how long Crest white strips last? These are probably years old and I found them, guess where, underneath the bathroom sink. And I'm wondering if I can still use them. What do you think? All right, and now I do have a technique or a tip for you on a tool that Stampin' Up! carries. These are the Aqua Painters. And what they do is they, they're they a brush, a paintbrush, but instead of having to take like a regular paintbrush and dip it into the water and keep dipping it, it actually has a little reservoir right here of where you can unscrew the top part, open it up and put water in, and then you close it up, screw that top back on, and then the cap here, pull that off, and there's actually a paintbrush here. And then when, you're, when you just fill it up with water, you wanna tip the water, so that the water will flow down to the paintbrush. You might have to give it a little squeeze too, and then that way the paint or the water will just come through the paintbrush. I like to use these for these, um, like those magic paint books where you just add water to. Typically it's just a regular paintbrush, which works great, but I like these because I know that I can, um, you know, I can be somewhere where I don't have to have the actual bowl of water, like the little cup of water. This also works great. Another tip, which is good, especially nowadays that I'm sending out more mail, is this will water, if you just brush it onto the part of the envelope that you would glue down, the water will activate that glue that's on the envelope, and then you would just push, brush this on, and then you can close up your envelope and it will glue it down. So this is just takes the place of sometimes, a lot of times we're used to just licking it or sometimes even glue sticks too. So this is something that you just add water to. You don't have to keep replenishing like you would a glue stick. Um, just another tip of how you can use these aqua painters. I hope this video brought a, at least a little smile to your face um, for the day. So I just wanted until next time, have a great day everybody and keep crafting. Bye.